Okay, today we're going to be learning about converting forms of quadratic equations. So recall that there are three main forms of the quadratic equation. The first is called standard form. The second is vertex form. And the third is intercept form. And each form has its uses. So in standard form, a is just the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is a constant. In vertex form, a is the same value from um, standard form. All right, this value doesn't really mean anything yet. Uh, we'll learn more about this later. But just know that this a in standard form is the same value as the a in vertex form. The h in vertex form represents the x-coordinate of the vertex of the function, and k represents the y-coordinate of the vertex. And finally, in intercept form, a is the same a as uh, vertex in standard form, and the values of p and q give you the uh, x-intercepts, or the zeros, sometimes called the roots, of the function. So what we're going to be doing today is taking um, an equation in one of these forms and trying to rearrange it so that it looks like uh, one of the other forms. So here's your first challenge. All right, here's the equation y equals x squared minus 4x minus 45. This equation is in standard form. What I'd like you to try and do is turn it into vertex form and then try to turn it into intercept form. Once you've done that, you'll be able to you'll be able to identify the vertex and the zeros. So I want you to pause the video and attempt to do that. Do the best you can. If you get stuck, then resume the video and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so pause the video now. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and take standard form and turn it into vertex form. Now, as I analyze vertex form, I should notice that it includes a binomial squared, which we know is just a compact way of writing, or a factored way of writing uh, a perfect square trinomial. Well, luckily, we know how to create perfect square trinomials because we studied how to complete the square. So I think my first goal is going to be to com uh, complete the square to create a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to start out with the function y equals x squared minus 4x minus 45. And since I know in order to complete the square, I need to start out with like an x squared plus bx. So basically this part of the equation, I'm going to isolate this by adding 45 to both sides. So now I have my x squared plus bx. And I know to complete the square, I have to divide this by 2 and then square it. And that'll give me a perfect square trinomial. So I have to add some value over here. So what value is that going to be? Let's take negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And when we square it, that gives us a 4. But we can't just add a 4 over on the right side. This is an equation. So we need to add 4 over to the left side to make it balanced. So let's do that. Let's add 4 to both sides. And now what we've created is a perfect square trinomial. And over here on the left side, uh, we have, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a balanced equation. So what could we do? We could definitely add 45 and 4, so we can combine lo those like terms. So we're going to do that. But we can also factor this perfect square trinomial into a binomial squared. And when we do that, what we get is y plus 49. And then that's going to be equal to this trinomial, uh, perfect square trinomial uh, uh, factored into x minus 2 times itself. So how does this help us? Well, we're on our way to creating vertex form. We have one element of it right over here. So all we need to do now is make it look like an equation that says y equals, and we've got vertex form. So here's a y, we're adding 49. Hey, let's subtract 49 from both sides. And just like that, we've got vertex form. y equals, and since there's no value here, we'll consider that to be 1, 1 times x minus 2 squared minus 49. Now, to figure out what the vertex is, all we have to do is look at the form. The x-coordinate of the vertex is always the value of h, which is the value after the subtraction sign, x minus h. So here we have x minus 2, so the x-coordinate must be 2. And the value of k 
is the constant outside of the parentheses, and here we have negative 49, so our vertex is 2, negative 49. Okay, now let's try turning standard into intercept form. Intercept form is y equals some value times x minus p and x minus q, where p and q are the zeros or the x-intercepts of the function. So let's start with standard form and think, how could we get this form to look like this? Well, this looks very much like a trinomial that's been factored, so let's try and do that. Because intercept form, if you recall, is often called factored form. So all we gotta do is factor this trinomial. So uh, let's find two uh, factors of negative 45 that add up to negative four two factors of negative 45 that add up to negative 4. That would be 5 and 9, with one of them being negative. If we, if we want a sum of negative 4, there's going to be negative 9 and positive 5. And so there we go. We can factor um, the trinomial into x plus 5 times x minus 9, and there's our intercept form. Now we could uh, go a step further and say that intercept form is strictly x minus a value. And so we could reinterpret this addition problem, x plus 5, as x minus negative 5. And there, our two zeros are revealed. X, when x equals negative 5 and when x equals 9, um, the, uh, the output of the function is 0. So the zeros of this function are negative 5 and 9. And there we go. We've converted standard form to vertex form and then to intercept form to reveal the vertex and the zeros. So here's another example. Uh, let's try this one. This one poses an extra challenge. I'll let you in on a little secret. In order to complete the square for vertex form, you need to isolate x squared. You can't have a 2x squared. It just needs to be a 1x squared. So you're going to have to somehow deal with this too. All right, that's what's different about this problem. But uh, let's try and turn this equation in standard form to vertex and intercept form so you can identify the vertex and the zeros. So once again, uh, do your best. Uh, pause the video, and we'll go over the answers after, after you're done. Okay, pause the video now. All right, let's see how you did. All right, so the first thing I'm going to try and do is turn standard into vertex form. We know we need to complete the square to create a perfect square trinomial, so how are we going to do that? All right, so the first thing uh, we need to deal with is we either have to get rid of this 2 or we have to deal with this 40. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything uh, by 2. All right, that just, um, I noticed all of these numbers are even, so dividing by 2 is going to be very, very clean and neat. You could have started out by adding 40 to both sides and dealing with this constant first, but it really, really doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. I decided to divide by 2 first, and now to isolate my x squared and my bx, I'm going to add 20 to both sides. Now I've got my x squared and my bx. I can create my perfect square trinomial by completing the square. So I'm going to take my negative 8, chop it in half, that gives me negative 4, and when I square that, I get 16. Now recall, you can't just add 16 to the right side, you got to treat both sides equally, so let's add 16 to both sides, and we completed the square. Now we can simplify the left-hand side and factor the right-hand side. And this factors into x minus 4 times itself. And over here, 20 and 16 to make 36. So now all we have to do is get the equation into the form of y equals, so let's solve for y. y is being divided by 2, and we're adding 36. So we're going to subtract 36 from both sides and then multiply both sides by 2. And so we end up with y equals 2 times x minus 4 squared minus 72. Interpreting vertex form, the h value, or the x-coordinate of our vertex is 4, and the k, or the y value, of our vertex is negative 72. So the vertex would be 4, negative 72. All right, the next thing I'm going to try is to convert standard into intercept form. All right, um, so I'm going to start with standard form, and in order to convert it to intercept form, I simply need to factor. So uh, I'm going to factor out my greatest common factor, which is a 2, 
take a look at uh, the resulting trinomial, try to find two factors of negative 20 that add up to negative 8. Those would be negative 10 and positive 2. So we factor the trinomial into 2 times x minus 10 times x plus 2. And again, we can just interpret this as uh, the x needs to be the opposite value of the value over here. So if this is negative 10, uh, x is going to be positive 10. Or if this is positive 2, x is going to be negative 2. But strictly, intercept form is in the form of x minus and x minus. So we should interpret this as x, not x plus 2, but x minus negative 2. So our two zeros would be 10 and negative 2. And those are our zeros. OK, let's try one more challenge. All right. Um, here I've given you an equation in vertex form. And I would like you to convert it into standard form and then intercept form. OK, just like we've tried before, uh, just uh, try it on your own. Do your best. And uh, when we resume, I'll show you how it's done. So pause the video now. Okay, here we go. So let's turn vertex into standard form. So if you recall, standard form is just um, uh, where uh, all of uh, your terms are on one side and there's nothing more to do. Like we've simplified it as much as possible. So all we have to do is take vertex form and simplify it. So let's start with our order of operations. We're going to take x plus 1 and we're going to square it. So let's do that. x plus 1 squared is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right, then we're multiplying that by negative 3, so we're going to multiply this trinomial by negative 3. And we get negative 3x squared minus 6x plus negative 3, and then we're going to add that to 48. And when we simplify all that, we get negative 3x squared minus 6x plus 45. And there's our standard form. It's as simple as that. All we have to do is simplify. So then how would we then, oh, I'm sorry, and then we can identify the, uh, um, the values of a, b, and c in standard form, which becomes very, very useful later on. And um, so how would we convert uh, vertex form to intercept form? Vertex form to intercept form. Well, in order to get intercept form, we need an equation in uh, standard form because intercept form is just a factored version of standard form. So. In order to get vertex form into intercept form, we first need to do all this and turn it into standard form. So here's vertex form. After you do all of this to get it into standard form, you then take standard form and then you factor it. Don't forget to always look for a greatest common factor. All right, here we've got a, a 3, or a term that's divisible by 3. This one's divisible by 3. That one's divisible by 3. So let's take out a negative 3 because our leading coefficient is negative. And then we can factor the resulting trinomial, two factors of negative 15 and 2. I'm sorry, the, the two factors of negative 15 that, up, that add up to 2 are 5 and negative 3. So we factor the trinomial into x plus 5 times x minus 3. Our two zeros are going to be negative 5 and positive 3. Our two zeros are going to be negative 5 and positive 3. And there we go.